Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 18th of December to the 22nd of December 2017. As always, we're going to start off with the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of currency pairs looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're looking for uh, in the coming week and also weeks ahead, depending on the size of those targets and the distance needed to travel uh, to get to those targets. So I hope you're all having a good weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we started the US dollar index coming into resistance at the 94.030. And we said we were looking further advance in the US dollar index, but what we wanted to see first was really a pullback and a test of broken resistance acting as support before we started to get further advance to the upside. When we pulled back down into the 93.455, area of support you can see we retested broken resistance and support and we did start to bounce to the upside so we did get a nice move from this area of support as we were looking for last week now we go into this week in a similar scenario in the sense that we are approaching resistance however we are looking for further advances and now with this opportunity in the past behind us from the key area of support down here up towards the resistance area the preference is for a break above the 94.030 and if we get a break above this area we're going to start to look for some accumulation before looking for bullish opportunities up towards the next key area to the upside and the next key area of resistance which is the 94.850 so we are going to be looking at giving the dollar a bullish bias especially if it can break above the 94.030 area of resistance Next, we have oil. Now, last week, we started the week just above the 56.83. We're looking for a pullback and a continuation up towards the target here of the 58.79. Now, we did get a pullback and a continuation, but as you can see, once we got up to the 58.50 area, uh, we just capitulated to the downside. Uh, and we came back and we tested this area, and you can see we actually tested it quite deeply. In fact, it started to break through and fail as support. But towards the end of the week, we got a break back above this key area of broken support failing to act as resistance and now we have broken resistance we'll be looking for this to come back again and test at support now if we get a test of the 56.83 we're going to be looking for the same type of opportunity that we we're looking for last week which is bullish formations and patterns in this area and if we get those patterns we're going to be looking for longs and we're going to be looking at taking those longs back up to the target as highlighted at last week at the 58.79 Next, we have the euro dollar. Now, last week we were sitting just in this area and we did have a target to the downside at the 1.17225, which is the next key area support to the downside. And we're saying that if we get a pullback, preferably a retest of previous uh, broken support actions resistance, but any kind of pullback in this area will allow us to look for shorts down towards the 1.17225. And you can see we did actually have a nice opportunity on a pullback straight down to the target as highlighted last week. Now we bounced from here and we came all the way back up to previous support, which was broken over here, turning resistance. And so there was in fact a second opportunity to take this to the downside last week, back down towards the first target here at the 1.17225. But also we have a secondary target to the downside at the 1.16720. So anybody who was not looking to trade this last week, if there's a pullback and another retest of resistance at the 1.18363 this would provide a great place to look for short opportunities down towards the target one as highlighted here but the real opportunity may already have passed on this which means the next time we'll be looking to go short on this pair will be a break down below the 1.17225 and if we get a break and a pullback like this then we're going to be looking this would be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns down towards the next key area and target to the downside at the 1.16720. Next, we have the pound dollar. Now, last week we started the week uh, having broken above and then back down below the key area resistance at 1.3447. Uh, instead, as a result, what we'd be looking for is a pullback. Now, we did get a pullback close to this level over here with this wick up here uh, before looking for further declines, and we were looking back down towards key area of support down here. Now. Uh, this didn't come all the way back to the actual level, but don't forget these are areas as well that we're looking at. However, if this was not 
uh, as clear. Uh, certainly the second opportunity that formed last week on a pullback and a full retest of the key area of resistance, the 1.3447, did provide the nice opportunity to the downside here, down to last week's target, which was here, this key level of support at 1.3341. And we actually broke through the target. And as a result, we start this week below the 1.3341. And so as a result, all we're simply looking for is a correction to take place, a possible retest of broken support acting as resistance. And this would be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. Going to look to start to take those shorts down to Towards the target of the 1.3270, which is the top of the multi week range, if you remember, as we mentioned before in videos previously. Next, we have the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we actually had a nice setup in the US dollar Japanese yen because we broke above the key area of resistance at the 113.186. We started to accumulate and test this area, and we were looking further advances to the upside, but unfortunately, we actually had a failure of this area to hold as support once it was broken as resistance came back and failed to hold as support and we actually had a capitulation to the downside when we started to break down below the 113.186 now it's a bit of a shame because it was setting up very nicely but we just have to accept this as traders this is going to happen all the time it's just part of trading However, going into this week, we start the week below the 113.186. And so all we're simply looking for going into next week is a pullback. And if we get a retest of broken support turning resistance in this area, it's going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns in this area, we're going to be looking to take shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside and the next target to the downside at the 111.719. Next, we have the Aussie US dollar. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback and we were going to look to initiate shorts in the Aussie dollar. Uh, and we were looking preferably as well for a pullback towards the 0.75715, which was a, an area of broken support turning resistance. And we did get this price action, but off of the back of poor US core CPI data, we actually had this failure of resistance last week. And so we start this week having broken above the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 0.76274. And we are starting to correct back down and looking for this broken area of resistance to act as support. And if we get this kind of price action, this would be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking up towards the first target at the 0.76941. And if we get a breakthrough here, we'll be looking up towards the second target and the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 0.78093. Now, don't forget, we keep you updated with these currency and market moves throughout the week with the daily currency review. So if you get this and you watch the weekly Forex forecast at the weekend and we start to get a failure of some of the levels that we're looking at, you will be kept updated with this with the daily currency review, which you can see each morning on this channel. And that allows you throughout the week from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We don't do a daily currency review on Friday, but for those four days, you will start to see if there has been change in the strength and weakness of the currency. And it will allow you to navigate these levels as the week develops. Next, we have the New Zealand dollar. Now, last week we were sitting just above the key area of support here at the 0.68217. And as a result, we said we were looking for bullish formations and patterns in this area. And you can see we had a really nice move up towards the target, which was highlighted here uh, from last week. And we actually broke through this key area of resistance. And so as a result, we go into next week just above this key area of resistance, which has now been broken. So very simply put, if we get a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support, this is going to provide another great place to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we'll be looking at initiating those longs up towards the target and next key air resistance to the upside at the 0 0.70588. Next, we have the US dollar Swiss franc. Now, last week we had broken above the key area of resistance at the 0 0.98599. And we said we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support. And if we got this kind of price action, which as you can see, we did get this kind of price action, this to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we had the targets to the upside highlighted the 1.00239 and the 1.00744. And these targets still stand. Now, if we get a pullback and a retest of this key area of broken resistance over here turning support, this would provide a great secondary opportunity to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we would again be looking up towards the targets as highlighted here. The next key areas of resistance to the upside are the 1.00239 and the 1.00744. Next, we have US dollar CAD. Now, last week, we started the week above this area in this area, above the key area of broken resistance in this case. 
and we said what we were looking for is a kind of like a ball flag type correction back into this broken area of resistance turning support. And if we got this kind of move and this kind of price action back into this area, we were going to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we were going to be looking up towards these targets, the 1.29425 and the 1.30176. Now, both of these targets still remain in play to the upside. If we get a pullback and a secondary test of the 1.27730, this would provide a great place again for a secondary opportunity to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And again, we'll be looking at any type of correction here for longs up towards the targets, as mentioned at the 1.29425. And the next key area of resistance after that, if we can get a break, at the 1.30176 respectively. Next, we have the pound yen. Now, last week we started the week up in this area over here and we had this big push to the upside. And we highlighted that if we had a correction and possibly even a retest, broken resistance over here acting as support here and again coming back down to test this key area support down here then this would provide a great place to look for bullish opportunities and we did get that price action and the correction last week into this key area of support and so going into this week now preferably if we get a little push higher and we start to accumulate above this area we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns in this area we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the target and the next key area resistance to the upside at the 154.478 and finally we have the euro new zealand dollar now last week we had a breakdown below key area of support at the 1.69560 and you can see we did come back and retest this as broken support turning resistance now going into next week if we get a pullback and we get the kind of price action which comes back and retests this broken area of support and turns resistance again over here this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to be looking at shorting those bearish formations and patterns down towards the next key area of support to the downside and the target at the 1.66413 so that is it for me for this week guys as always i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please let me know by liking sharing and subscribing a big thank you to all of you who do that on a regular basis and also a big thank you to all of you who have subscribed to the channel so far don't forget you can also follow us on this channel every day from monday to thursday with the daily currency review which is released every single morning and with that said the only thing left to say is i hope you'll have a fantastic week next week Take care and don't forget to trade safely.